The Way of All Flesh album. The Way of All Flesh is the fourth studio album by the French progressive metal slash technical death metal band Gejira. The album was released on October 13, 2008, in Europe via Listenable Records, and on October 14 in the U.S. through Prosthetic Records. It sold around 4,000. 200 copies in the United States in its first week of release to debut at number 138 on the Billboard 200 chart. It also reached No. 1 on the Top Heat Seekers chart and No. 21 on the Top Independent Albums chart. The album was recorded at the band's home studio, while Joe Duplantier produced it. The drums were recorded in Los Angeles and engineered by Logan Mader, who also mixed and mastered the album. The cover features artwork created by vocalist Joe Duplantier, who was responsible for the artwork on past albums. Writing and Composition Release and Promotion On 6 October 2008, a music video was released for the song Vacuity, produced by Julian Macrani and Samuel Bodin. The video was shot near the band's hometown in France and starred the Duplantier's cousin, actress Claire Theodali. On 11 January 2009, Gajira released a second music video from the album, an animated video for All the Tears, illustrated by Jossie Mollis. In March 2013, Listenable Records made a double vinyl format of the album available for pre-order, with the official release date listed as 29 April 2013, 250 copies each of blue and white vinyl were manufactured. Reception Critical Reception The Way of All Flesh was met with generally favorable reviews from music critics. At Metacritic, a review aggregator site which assigns a normalized rating out of 100 from music critics, based on seven critics, the album has received a score of 67-100, which indicates generally favorable reviews. Eduardo Rivadavia of All Music wrote that by the time it finally emerged, in late 2008, Gijira's fourth full-length successfully met most all of the understandably heightened expectations head-on. Writing for Blabbermouth, Net, Keith Bergman described the album, was more opaque than anything oppressive and suffocating in its world-enveloping tone, massive and clanking in rhythm, giving up its dynamic secrets only after hard, painful slogs through the frozen mire of its glowering groan. But once you've broken through, it's quite a new landscape these madmen have. Pitchfork's Cosmo Lee wrote a more lukewarm review of the album, praising the strong performances as well as the subject matter and humanity of the album's ecological lyrical themes, but argued that this humanity doesn't translate to the music. The performances are flawless, but overly so. Everything is polished to a gleaming sheen. Without edges heat. Accolades a denotes the publication's list is in no particular order, and the way of all flesh did not rank numerically. On Kerrang! as top 50 best album openers in metal, a definitive list of the 50 best first tracks in heavy metal history, Ouroboros was ranked number 19. Track Listing Track Listing Adapted from Liner Notes All lyrics are written by Joe Duplantier, except where noted, all music is composed by Joe Duplantier and Mario Duplantier, except where noted. Hidden track the final song and title track of the album, The Way of All Flesh, contains a hidden instrumental song. The main piece of the track ends at 6.51 and the hidden songs thuts in at 12.33, giving the song a period of silence lasting 5.42. The song contains complex layers of ambient guitar sounds with various echo and reverb effects. This song ends promptly at 17, 3 and closes the album. A similar tactic was first used by the band in their debut album, Terra Incognita. The original vinyl version does not contain this track, it ends at 6.51. The 2013 vinyl release contains the hidden track. Personnel, personnel, chart performance, equals equals, references equals equals, equals.